Okay, so. Wait, did you guess? This thing. This thing? Tell me what this thing is. Has, if you notice, you got something that kind of grows, goes down. Uh -huh. Up down here, down here. We're looking at the bottom of a tree. A tree! Be the tree. The tree. This is the No, tree. no, be the tree. Oh, be the tree. Yeah, enact the tree. Oh, uh, perfect. We got little, <laughs> one little bit coming uh -huh. off. One little root coming off. Another area under there. Well, we got a couple of them. And they literally built the road right through it, and then nobody noticed that there's a freaking tree there. Road. Freaking tree. And you can see the top of it, too. If you get closer, Megan can actually see up on top. Oh, shut up. Maybe you should take the camera. <laughs> and we can look at the individual, like, tree rings. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So you got individual years. Oh, that's so And they're splaying out, yeah. Oh, whoa. And stuff is fossilized, but it's not the... It's so delicate. It's very delicate, yeah. Poke it so they can see how soft and weird it is. Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, it's so oh. oh, it's blowing away. Um, even though it is fossilized and it's Miocene, Pliocene age, we'll have to look that up. Um, so like 10-ish million years old, it's still really, really fragile. Um, and I've seen chunks of this type of petrified wood where it actually just super light and it feels just like wood. It doesn't feel any different than modern wood does. So it hasn't been heavily replaced. But in other places here, it has been heavily replaced and it's been replaced with opals, which is why we are here in this beautiful valley because there are lots and lots of opals here. Yeah, there's a tiny little bit. Maybe a tiny kind of... little bit of opal. Hold on, give me a couple more minutes so I can get this in. Rotate it in the sun so that we can see it. It's shiny sparkle. Yeah, no, it's not very impressive in this All right, video. well, let me find... Or in real life. You want this stick? What do you think? Is it a real stick? Do you want this stick? Yeah? Okay, ready? Oh. Oh, <laughs> she really wants a stick. It's a fossil. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, this thing's so freaking. Okay. Sorry for my Blair Witch style photography here. <laughs> Get it? Oh, is it not a stick? <laughs> You guys have played fetch with weirder objects. So it turns out that because this is not super solidified, um, dog paws are capable of scratching it when they don't want to pick it up, but they do desperately want to bring it closer to you, so you throw it. I don't understand how opal like, really forms in here. So we've got other stuff that obviously shows like the organics didn't totally decompose in there. Jelly bean. And then we have the silicic stuff it's filling in the fractures and I just don't know why it didn't just replace the actual all the rock or the fossil <clears throat> oh, oh my, my god like... jelly bean no we're not throwing that one anymore you'll hurt yourself Logan found a massive layer of wood is that slightly yeah it's above where the roots are for the tree a little bit above the a little bit above the trees right there same sort of stuff. Same sort of stuff, cedar wood, but we're trying to decide whether uh, Logan thinks all this wood was rafted in. I think that this much wood in that thick of a horizon means that this was, at least for a part of a time, a swamp. And that's how you get that much accumulation of wood like this. What are you, doing? Hold, you could have just one event dropping this stuff off, though. Yeah, but I disagree. I don't think it's I think just one, you know, floodplain, just one, you know, one flood just plops all this stuff off and then... I think it was a swamp. Okay, you call it a swamp. I'm like, eh. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say, that's a, a, a histosol. It's a poorly developed histosol. It's lignite. Um, Hold on. It's made up of a bunch of cedar chunks. Yeah, that's yeah, lignite. Floated in. So it's just a, it's a monoculture. It's a single flood event. Also, I am not 100% convinced that you can identify all of this as cedar. Why? Because I know that identifying wood is really hard. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't the bark think... on cedar is really convenient, and we know it grew out This here. doesn't have bark. But it breaks apart like cedar planks. Oh, my God. Well, what if it's like an extinct... What if it's meta sequoia? Oh. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. when we get back into cell phone service, we're going to Google this. Okay, Logan. <laughs> so, um, I initially really thought that 
the cedar thing was crap but mm-hmm. it turns out that cedar are known from like the se- or from the mesozoic from like the cretaceous so what was the you age can't... of the stuff we were looking at? <laughs> the age of the stuff we were looking at was Miocene. Uh-huh. So I was I was pretty spot on with my a year? ten million <laughs> year to twelve million year. Did you find a more exact age? Oh no. Well, no. <laughs> so like probably not not right, but can't really prove that you're wrong. I think it was. You can't really prove that I'm wrong either. Mm-hmm. So Logan actually agreed with me in the field, um, but after I turned off the camera. But, yeah, he thinks that that was actually probably a swamp deposit and not a flood bank deposit. Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah. Got a bunch of just cedar trees. <laughs> <laughs> or metasequoia. <laughs> <laughs> Something dying and falling on top of each yeah. other and basically hanging out there for quite a while. Yeah. I then looked up the definition of lignite and it's like brown coal, which this kind of <laughs> wasn't. So... Poor... <laughs> Uh, it's like lots of partially smushed wood decomposed i don't know if we yeah. can call it lignite or not but you know what jc merriam did so we also found out there was uranium in the oil. oh that was kind of odd yeah there's a whole virgin valley area they there's um, uranium in it yeah which is so overall i'd say pretty accurate yeah yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> I think we did pretty good. But yeah, if we are this accurate every time, there's is really not going to be that much of a show left. So hopefully next time we tell a little bit more lies in the field. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all geology is. <laughs> yeah. lies. lies in the field. <laughs> when you have two geologists, you have at least three opinions. And half of those are lies. Yeah, most of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs>